If we had shown half that spine to the Empire we would have never lost our planet. Bo Catan cries, to Koska Reeves and Boba Fett in 2 BBY, Gar Saxon and his Imperial Super Commandos wiped out the Mandalorian protectors. As a result, Rao decided to join the rebellion. Later that year, Sabine Wren found the Darksaber on Dathomir after she, Kanan Jarrus, and Ezra Bridger fought a battle there against Maul. At the urging of Fenn and the rebel leaders Hera Syndulla and Jarrus, Sabine agreed to begin training with the Darksaber so that she could reunify her people and rally them to help the rebellion. Following Sabine's training, she, Rao, Jarrus, and Bridger returned to Cronest to Clan Wren's stronghold. There, Sabine attempted to convince the clan's leader and her mother, Countess Ursa Wren, to join the rebellion. At first, Ursa decided to surrender the Jedi to Viceroy Saxon and his Imperial Super Commandos in exchange for the Darksaber and sparing her daughter. When Saxon branded her and Clan Wren enemies of the Empire, Ursa and her son Tristan fought Saxon and commandos alongside Rao and the Jedi. When Saxon tried to kill Ursa with the Darksaber, Sabine took Bridge's lightsaber and fought Saxon. Sabine was then able to reclaim the Darksaber and subdue Saxon. When Saxon tried to shoot Sabine, he was killed by Ursa. His death created a power vacuum among the Mandalorians. Sabine then decided to stay behind and help her mother, clan, and Rao find Mandalore's true leader, to whom she would give the Darksaber. Soon afterward, Bridger returned to Cronest, having escaped from the Battle of Atollan, to request help from Clan Wren for the rebels against Grand Admiral Thrawn, who was attacking the rebel base on Atollan. Although unable to send a full force, due to their current struggles against Clan Saxon, Ursa agreed to allow Sabine, Tristan, and Rao to lead several Mandalorian volunteers and ships to accompany Ezra and Chopper back to Atollan. The Gauntlet and several Fang fighters traveled back to Atollan, where they destroyed the interdictor vessel that was preventing the rebels from escaping. Able to escape, the remaining rebels fled the system, while the Mandalorians returned to Cronest. In 1 BBY, Clan Wren under the leadership of Ursa and Sabine fought on Mandalore against Clan Saxon and the Empire. At some point during the Mandalorian Civil War, Sabine and her younger brother, Tristan, arrived at the statue of Tar Vishla and discovered that the Empire had built an outpost situated on it. Sabine and Tristan destroyed the outpost and restored the statue to its original state. Clan Wren was joined by several other factions and clans including the sole journeyman protector Rao, Lady Bo Katan's clan Kreis, Clan Vishla, Clan Rook, and Clan Eldar. Sabine and the Rebel Alliance's Spectres Jarrus and Bridger also attacked an Imperial prison hoping to find Ulrich Wren, although Ulrich had been moved. Sabine then offered Kreis the Darksaber, but she refused knowing she was not the leader her sister, Satine, had been. Together they attacked a convoy guarded by the Super Commandos. They were then able to rescue Ulrich. However, the Commandos and the Empire then deployed an at-DP armed with the, the Duchess, weapon prototype that disintegrated numerous warriors of clans Wren and Kreis. Only Tristan and Ursa survived the onslaught. The survivors then regrouped. Sabine and Bo Katan then planned to destroy it by sneaking aboard Governor Tiber Saxon's Star Destroyer near Sundari to atone for her role in creating the weapon. The combined Mandalorian and rebel forces managed to infiltrate Saxon's Star Destroyer. Following a skirmish, they destroyed the Duchess and Saxon's vessel. After the battle, Lady Bo Katan assumed the Darksaber and the mantle of leadership over the Mandalorian clans. The Vishlas, Wrens, Kreises, Rooks, Eldars, and the sole remaining protector, Fen Rao, pledged allegiance to the new Mandalore. Kreises' reign as Mandalore was short lived, and the Empire started the Great Purge of Mandalore, killing millions of Mandalorians. During the purge, Mandalore was heavily bombed in the Night of a Thousand Tears. The Children of the Watch avoided the purge, as they were cloistered on Concordia. The Darksaber was taken by ISB officer, Moff Gideon. The Rebel Alliance would also receive help from the Old Mandalorian faction, with a battalion of Mandalorians led by Vera Baroya aiding rebel forces against an Imperial task force led by Ralchio Nervi during the Battle of Zorn. <laughs>